October 31st is the only day of the year that you will see the apostate churches come out the closet and take their Christian mask off. You can ride around and look at the churches right now. They are advertising trunk or treat. They got pumpkins all up in the churchyard. And what they're doing is they're making a mockery of Jesus Christ. If you want to do something for the kids, take that stuff to your house. Don't do that in front of the churches. You make a mockery of Jesus Christ. What does light have in common with darkness? What does Jesus have in common with the devil? What does righteousness have in common with unrighteousness? Nothing. There's no common grounds there. The church is not to be unequally yoked with the day of darkness. The day of Halloween is the day of the devil. There's no way around this. And if you calling yourself a Christian and you celebrating this day, you, in my eyes, you're apostate. You're a fake and fraudulent Christian. All these churches out there, they fake and they fraudulent. The Holy Ghost would never let a Christian be part of the day of the devil. There's no way. The Holy Ghost is at war against the darkness. The Holy Ghost will not allow a Christian to be part of this day. It's the day of the devil. Anybody knows that. Yet we see that many of the churches are taking part in this day. It's apostasy, my friend. The Christian mask is coming off. If you part of a church that's being unequally yoked together with this day of darkness, you need to run from that church. You need to leave that church. You need to leave that fellowship because the Lord is not there. They are in rebellion. They are part of the world. They're not part of the body of Christ. They have no discernment of the Holy Ghost. And you need to run. What does the church have in common with the devil? You can't have part in the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You can't have both. You can't say that you're a Christian and you're celebrating the day of darkness. That just don't work. It doesn't happen like that. What you see going on is the apostasy is being exposed. And if your church is being part of this stuff, you need to run. You need to run. The Lord is trying to show you that your church is fake. The Lord is trying to show you that the fellowship is fraudulent. And you need to run, Christian.